the individual numbers that you had. I know, I know you don't care a lot about them, but when you look at the year you had, the numbers show us where Lamar's still on pace for a thousand, even though he's banged up. Tommy, you know, Travis um, get, getting near two thousand for his career. Does that make this even more difficult to take? The fact that so many guys are having really, really, really good years. Yeah, it does. Um, <laughs> you know, after the game, uh, you hear like. Like I, I don't really be listening to the stats, but you hear like from Sean, was, like from other people that Sean had like 70 tackles in a game, and then you're like, dang, like he had all these tackles, he had a great game. Street had finished with 176 yards. Uh, this and that happened, and then you're like, if anybody was was to just go, just look at the stats based off of the game, then they'll they'll know they'll think that University of Miami won, but uh, it's not like that. You know, stats don't get you the game. You can drive up and down the field, but if you can't score, that's what um, I guess that's what hurts. I was saying yesterday that he he's been talking about process since the day he got hired, obviously. But he he's at the point where he's he doesn't know if, if guys are getting that it's okay for there to be a process. Do you think this team understands where it is and what has to happen to get eventually where it wants to go? I think we do understand that. It's just that we're. We got to display it on the field. We got to go out there and be consistent every week. Um, be the same people. I, my take is I don't want everybody to go out there and be like robots, trying to not be themselves and try to just be phony and I guess not. I don't, I don't want to say anything. <laughs> to, I just don't want to be robots, period, and just not be themselves and have fun. I want everybody to go out there loose, whether it's around the building, no matter what. What did happen last week? Just be yourself, and you know, you come out there, you'll play good. That's how I feel. So it's yeah, it's a, for you. It's finding the for everybody. It's finding the balance of personality versus process versus pretty much whatever. just find the balance between both. Because you, it's a time to get serious and the time to play, and you should know how to balance both of them. Did you think uh, Stephen Morris had a shot there at the end? I really two did. Plays? I really did. Uh, you know, even though it was at the 30, I, he could have you know, throw the ball. He probably threw it out the end zone. He got a strong arm, but uh, I thought he, I thought he was gonna bring us back and win the game for us. So, um, you know, Stephen's a good guy. Yeah. How tough is that to be? Do you think in that situation where you're sitting and sitting and sitting most mm -hmm. of the season, then boom, you have to come in and it, the game's on the line. Too. I told him sorry when I was running out. I, t I looked at him. I'm like, man, I'm sorry, though. I, I can't even lift my arm right now. And, uh, right. and he was like, nah, don't worry about it. I got it. I got it. And then after the game, I was like, man, I'm sorry, man. So, um, but. He's someone that's always ready. Uh, coach and got us prepared to be ready. So, and I think he's prepared in, anyway. So he's a good guy. He's a good quarterback. He'll be ready anytime. You think he has a bright future, or you know, he, he has, has two a more very years. bright future. Uh, <laughs> just watch him in practice and knowing what his uh, the potential he has and what he can be just amazes me. So it's gonna be great seeing him next year. How was your arm, by the way? Is, can you feel fine now? Good. Good. <laughs> was it just one play where you got uh, hit? Yeah, it was just that one play. It just okay, I knew yeah. that I wasn't gonna be able to throw the ball based on how I was feeling, but um, it wore off after the game. So. Did you heard the Duke factor? People, Duke used to be the butt of jokes. Maybe they still are. I don't know. But mm -hmm. um, how, how are you guys viewing this game now, especially in light of the loss? And we um, need some games to get to a bowl. Yeah, that's what it is. We got to get to a bowl game. So everybody that we face from here on out, we got to face them and, and come out there and play. Like we want to. Um, like well, it's a new season for us. We got to go four and zero. And we got to start off with Duke, and Duke is in our way. So we got to go out there and prepare. And they're not no easy team. Uh, they gave Virginia Tech a run for their money, and they've been doing good this whole year. Thank you. Is there more of a sense of urgency than there has been at any time this season? Um, I'll say pretty much, yeah. Because it's how, if you realistically speak, the ACC is kind of like out of the picture, unless a bunch of crazy things happen. For us. So right now it's, it's like we gotta we gotta win these games. We gotta go out there and just and beat people so that we can get to a bowl game. So we gotta fight for it. Jacory, do you see any frustration for Lamar? He hasn't had the last three games been tougher. People have been stacking the <coughs> uh, Any you know frustration from Lamar? Lamar is the same person day in day out. Um, 
frustrated. Yeah, you may be frustrated, you know, when you're in the game and you run and you get one yard. But I feel like just how it's been all year for him. In the beginning of the game, you start off with probably like two carries. And then uh, second half, that's when you open up. You just got to, you know, things not going to just happen like magically. You just got to go and I feel like as long as you keep pounding them and keep pounding them, eventually it's going to open up. Gonna open up How much has his success helped you, you know, in terms of opening up the passing game this year? It's teams? helped a lot. And uh, it shows these last couple of games because people are bringing people off the sideline to try to stop the run. So, um, and uh, now they just put it in, uh, in the hands of the quarterbacks to uh, make make passes and throws. You were talking about guys not being robots, being themselves, all that. Has that been key for you? Is that, is that what kind of your, been your method this year? Yeah, pretty much. That's how I approach things. <coughs> I don't want to be. A, I don't want to sit around and try to act like I'm someone I'm not. I'm not the guy that's gonna be quiet and just sit there and, and not sing in the locker room. And not be me. Those are things I do, and I feel like if I don't do them, then I'm not gonna be focused in the game, and I'm not gonna have fun. So I feel like as long as I. I do those things and I try to get everybody around me. Like in the huddle with the offensive alignment. You know, we, we dance sometimes, you know, just to loosen things up because then I feel like you focus more on the game. No dancing for John though, right? For John. Oh no, 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 no. He can't. He scared me when he did that. <laughs> how does the line get back on track? Al talks a little bit about how they're kinda of, kind of in a rut and they're struggling a little short yard situations. Um, I feel like they're gonna they're gonna be just fine. The teams are just stacking the box on them. We just gotta find a way to get it done, and um, I think that they'll get it done. They'll find a way to get it done. They're a great group of guys. They're smart, um, and they, they they bust their tails and practice every day. So I'm pretty sure they get it done. Do you want the play calling to be a little more aggressive because they're stacking the box? Maybe use the pass to open up the run of the game. Um, Play calls have been just fine to me. We've been doing an excellent job play calling. I know you look at the defense and the offense when you're studying film, but just how good is Ray for your team now? The little bit that you do, I'm sure, see it. I seen highlights from the Virginia Tech game. Um, yeah, he looked pretty good. Um, Does he belong? You think in that? I mean, people talk about him being the first time and people are kind of saying the upper class in the ACC. Is he? I think so. I think so. Um, like I remember coming out of out of Elite Eleven, I never knew that he was gonna really go to Duke. I didn't think that, but uh, they had a great coach. They had a great quarterback coach there, so you know I seen the reason why he did, and then you know he's he's, he's pretty much showing who he is right now. He's doing pretty good, and uh, he's a great guy. What are you seeing in the locker room? Yeah. What else on my part? <laughs> R&B mostly. <laughs> can you actually sing? I can sing. I got a beautiful voice, but it doesn't work when uh, I'm not on stage. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I want to do it right now. Reverse stage, right? I got to be on stage in front of thousands of people. What about a podium? It's two little people. It's not for free. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right.